Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I will be showing you guys how to downgrade iOS 6.0.1 back down to iOS 5.1.1 and get an untethered jailbreak. And we will not be using iTunes for this tutorial, we will be using Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 3. I just know a lot of people are having so much trouble with iTunes, you get many errors no matter what method you try, and in this video we're going to be using Red Snow, and this is going to be a very easy downgrade. As long as you guys have your SHSH files for 5.1.1, you can downgrade and it will work. And if you guys don't know what those are or where to get them, I will show you in just a bit. But you guys need to know this will only work on the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, and the iPod Touch 4th generation. I'm sorry about the iPhone 4S users, you really are not getting that much love, so I'm sorry about that but this will only work on A4 devices and the 3GS. So let's go ahead and begin. On your desktop, you wanna download three things, Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 3, either for Mac or Windows, your iOS 5.1.1 IPSW firmware file, and the latest version of Tiny Umbrella. All three links can be found down below in the description. You'll find a link to my website where there's a written guide and all of the downloads you need there. Anyways, go ahead and open up Tiny Umbrella. Now, Tiny Umbrella isn't required. If you do know that you have your iOS 5.1.1 IPSW already, you don't need Tiny Umbrella. And we're not retrieving the SHSH files. All we're doing is checking that we do have them. So make sure your device is plugged in. Go to Advanced, Request SHSH from Cydia needs to be checked, and go ahead and click Save SHSH. This will retrieve all SHSH files from Cydia's server, and if you do see that 5.1.1 is in there, you can go ahead and continue with this tutorial. So close out of Tiny Umbrella, and we're opening up Red Snow. If you're on Windows, you want to right-click it and select Run as Administrator. On Mac, just go ahead and open it up. We're going to go to Extras, Even More, and select Restore. So in here, we're going to select our iOS 5.1.1 IPSW firmware file. Go ahead and select Open. OK. OK, and we're going to go ahead and power off our iPhone. As soon as we click Next, in Red Snow, we're going to be putting our device into DFU mode. So go ahead and click it and immediately hold the power button for 3, 2, 1, together with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the power button and continue holding the home button until you do see that Red Snow begins downgrading your device. You'll see this little menu, and basically Red Snow is acting just like iTunes as it would when restoring your device. It'll work very smoothly, and in just a second, you'll be right back on iOS 5.1.1. Eventually, after it finishes, you guys will see this logo on your device, and it basically means that the restore was successful. Do not panic. This is perfectly fine. So in Red Snow, what you want to do is select OK. You want to go back, go back once more, and this time select Recovery Fix. So we're going to have to force your device into DFU mode since obviously we can't turn it off from this screen. But we're going to go ahead and force your device into DFU mode. Go ahead and hold the power and home together for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. In the meantime, on Red Snow, hit Next and eventually you will see when it does recognize your device, keep holding the home button. There you go, it's recognized mine. So give it a few minutes and it will boot up on its own in iOS 5.1.1. And there you go guys, my iPhone has downgraded back to iOS 5.1.1. I'm just gonna go ahead and set it up real quick so that I can show you it is indeed on 5.1.1. And as you guys can see, I am back on iOS 5. There's an old YouTube app and old Google Maps application. And if you guys do want a jailbreak on iOS 5.1.1, there will be a link right there in the annotation that will take you to my iOS 5 jailbreak video. And if you do want to hacktivate, you can't get past the hacktivation screen. You can use Red Snow to hacktivate it on iOS 5, just point it to the 5.1.1 IPSW. But most of you guys will just want a jailbreak, so make sure to click on that annotation right there. Anyways, I do hope this downgrade video did help you. Red Snow did really make it easy to downgrade, so I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and favor, it does help me in return, and leave a comment if you guys have any questions. I will try to get back to you. So have a great day guys, enjoy your iOS 5 device, and the untethered jailbreak that comes with it. Peace.